Good morning, everybody. Today is September 1st. Can you believe it? We are already in September. This is Dr. Vaughn with your quick COVID update. Uh, we have 160,000 cases yesterday here in the United States. And there is some talk about maybe we're the peak, we're, we're plateauing. I want you to remember we are, plat we are averaging, the seven-day average is at 160,000. Our hospitalizations are over 100,000 for the first time since this um, spring surge back in January. Our numbers are back to where they were back in, uh, you know, after the holidays. So we're going to be in this for a while. So, you know, even if we've peaked, man, you know how a plateau works. I mean, that does not make me feel happy to be like stuck at 160,000 for another two weeks and then head back down. Like that's not good for the hospitals, uh, hospital system. Because remember, you know, as cases go up, there's always a lag with hospitalizations and then deaths. So uh, we're at the highest number of hospitalizations that we've been since the winter, and we're at the highest number of death rates again, 2,000 deaths in a day, which we were down in the United States, down to about 300 deaths a day, which I, I don't know why people think that's okay. Like a jumbo jet, like crashing every day is somehow not that bad. You're a fear monger, Dr. V. I need to go back and last, uh, when all this started, last April, I did a video where I said, if we did our jobs and everybody listened to the doctors and, and we did everything right, we would be lucky if we, if we um, kept it under 100,000 American deaths and just America, if we kept it under 100,000 American deaths. And I got all these comments, you're a fear monger. You're like, you're just part of the problem. You don't know what you're talking about. Who remembers this video, right? I said, if we, we could possibly see a million deaths, I hope not, maybe even two million, but if everything goes right, it'll be 100,000 deaths. And I got this, you know, all these people, you're a fear monger. We are at 640,000 American deaths, 640,000 American deaths. And now people are still saying like, oh, it's overblown. It's nothing worse than the flu. You gotta open her up. There's, I'm like, dude, this, what is wrong with y'all? You know, somehow like 640,000 American deaths. And like, these are people, guys. These are people with families. There are going to be so many people you know, for years now, years after this is over, we're going to be talking about all the orphans, you know, that both parents died and stuff like that. It's craziness. So a lot of people are going to tell you that, you know, Delta's burning out. Uh, maybe we're hitting a plateau. Like, dude, that's not how this works, man. That's not how this works. And even if we are peaked or plateaued at 160,000 cases, is that really where you want to be? Is that 160,000 cases? And we'll be there for most of September. Then we'll be heading down. Let's, let's, say, you're, let's say these people are right and we're peaked. And we're heading down. And here comes, and what do we get down to? 100,000? 100, 100,000 cases before we hit the holiday travel? Come on. This is not good. So the best thing we can do really is get vaccinated. Stop it with all the conspiracy theories. Stop it with all the Dr. Malone. He did not invent M messenger RNA. Just like, just like Henry Ford did not fucking invent the automobile. Everyone says that. This is what you have to remember. This is what average means, man. Average people think Henry Ford invented the automobile. He did not. Henry Ford invented the assembly line for automobiles. He took... He, there were already people making automobiles. He just happened to, to streamline the process and the whole idea of assembly lines was already available. He just took it and applied it to automobiles. So Dr. Malone did not invent messenger RNA. He, did a, he was one of hundreds of researchers who worked on messenger RNA. It's not the same fucking thing. And you know, and he's angry, so. Stop it with the Dr. Malone bullshit. Stop it with the ivermectin bullshit. You know, like people say, this is how crazy people are. People go, you know, why aren't doctors prescribed iver ivermectin? It clearly works. Well, guess what? Because it's cheap to make. There's no money in it. Yes, all these greedy doctors that you trust with one when you get sick. Now suddenly they're greedy. There's no money in ivermectin. So that's why they're not prescribing it. Get real. Do you realize when this... The whole thing started. The mo the people who were most scared were the private practice doctors 
who couldn't see patients, who didn't know what they were doing, who had to cut down their their uh, waiting rooms, couldn't have people in the waiting rooms. They were doing telemedicine. They didn't know how they were going to pay their bills. Do you know how many doctors went out of business because of this pandemic? Why wouldn't we want to, and we, and like Dr. V, the Hippocratic Oath. Well, if that's the case, then why wouldn't we, you know, prescribe, if it really worked, why wouldn't we be prescribing ivermectin? Come on. It's ridiculous. That's not how medicine works. That's how you fucking work. You know, it's a mirror, man. Everything that you, you believe in, it's a mirror. What you're posting and commenting. You're a cheapskate. You're, you know, you're distrustful. It's just not how medicine works. If it was such a great cure, man, we would be passing it out left and right, but it's just not the case. What does work, our best option is vaccinations. And not even vaccines, because a vaccine sitting on the shelf does no good. It's vaccinations, it's shots in arms, right? And we're in this for a lot longer. Y'all need to buckle down, winter's coming. <laughs> it's fucking Game of Thrones, man, winter's coming. <laughs> I should have done that meme last year. Because, you know, I was telling people, I was like, dude, this is going to be bad. Last last winter, it was going to be bad. And, uh, you know, oh, it's going to be worse. And we get we hit 300,000 cases. No, but you can't tell me not to go see my family. Oh, my God. Oh my God. And we're heading back there. And remember, that was like 20,000. We were down to 20,000 cases. Now we're going to be, what, 100,000 cases, 80,000 cases when we head into the fall travel season. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we've learned our lesson. <laughs> All right, that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with another COVID rant. <laughs>